Hi everybody, Bets Golden here. I am super excited because today my um, Dina Wakely Media Mediums came in and I am so happy. I did go ahead and purchase these little ones and one of her technique kits, the paint, and I really loved how it turned out. Um, and I use them on my jelly press. I got these because I have her mixed media journal and I was using the dilution paints on them and I didn't really like how they were reacting with the paper. So I went ahead and after, at first when I first saw the scribble sticks in, um, at the CHA this year, Creativation, I was like, oh, they're crayons. They're just Tim Holtz has distressed crayons and Stampin' Up has distressed crayons. But I was wrong. These are not crayons. They look like crayons, but they're actually basically paint without the moisture, without the water, and you add that in. So after doing a ton of research and hearing a ton of feedback, I decided to go ahead and purchase these along with her heavy body acrylic paint. So here is the lime I got, the magneta, the tangerine, lemon, and night. And I love this because it's like a really dark, dark, dark blue. So these are my paints that I purchased. And then I also purchased uh, some black gesso. However, I'm not going to be using this today because I don't need it today. I actually use it on my um, steampunk stuff. So how I store it is in the original container. And I always put the acrylic back on so it makes sure that it's nice and flat. I never clean it because I like that gross stuff. It, um, it's just, it adds more personality to whatever I'm jelly pressing. And today, this is kind of sliding around a little. So I think I'm going to take off the bottom one too. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just remove this for now. So today I'm going to work on, I don't know how many sheets I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to get the, the jelly press going and I'm not trimming these down. I'm going to trim them down to two and a half by three and a half bases. I'm going to do some other stuff to it. So the paper I'm using is just regular old copy paper. Since this is a mixed media type project, um, I'm going to use some paint on it, some ink on it, as in stamping, stamping, and then I hope to use some Mod Podge on it as well, and um, I'm also going to use some leftover pieces of digital art, kind of do, you know, just a hodgepodge, and then after it dries, I'll cut it down and turn them into cards. So let's make our base first, <laughs> and I want to do some different types of colors. I think I want to do this first time like this turquoise and I just there's no rhyme or reason to how I lay this down and I want to try some lemon oh good it's already open I haven't opened these yet do some lemon And let me do some lime. Okay. And I think I'm going to move my sheet, but I'm going to run the extra one over here. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and just start laying that paint down. My roller is not rolling. There it is. Yeah, my roller didn't do what I needed it to do. For some reason, it doesn't want to roll on my... Okay, so let me lay that down first. And then I'm going to just take one sheet for now. That blended it a little bit too much, but that's okay because we'll just play with it. And I'm going to go back and forth on my sheets so it'll give it a little bit of time to dry between. I don't know if like that's important. It's 
my first. That's kind of pretty. So I'm going to set this aside. And then this time I want to take like that and I'm going to pop a little bit of the magneto on it and see what this does. And let's pop that off. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I'm just going to take and press that on my paper over here, kind of clean it a little. And I've been told that if I start it and I hate it, it's okay not to give up, but just to keep working with it. Because you might hate it one minute and then love it the next. So that's that. That's kind of cool. New fun color. And I want to try this turquoise again. I have to tell you, now that I'm using both of these, I actually prefer this one. Um, I like how it dispenses from the bottle. Crazy! I know. And then I'm going to do a little bit of lemon again. I really like yellow. It's one of my favorite colors. I am going to the summer um, craft and hobby association mixed media show in Salt Lake City and I have committed myself to carrying around artistic trading cards to trade with people on the floor or just to give out um, it's a great way to get to know people and get to know their art oh my gosh I really like that that is so cool that is so cool and then this time, I just want to take this and maybe pick up, oh, I shouldn't have touched it, some of the stencil on it, some of the paint, see what this does. We may love it, we may hate it, I don't know. Let's see. So I just kind of press the stencil in on it. You know, um, I do like that. I think I want to throw on some more blue. I really, really like these small bottles. I love how they dispense the paint. That is so cool. Okay. I really like how they dispense that paint. Ooh, that's beautiful. Oh my God. I love that. Holy cow. Um, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna make up another one with that because I like it so much. I really like God, look how pretty that is. Absolutely love it. Oh, that is so cool. Go over it with that same, with the same dirty brayer. And I'm going to remove this. And I think I'm going to just pop it on this sheet over here, like so. 
there's no way I can do this and not get my fingers dirty. I'm sorry. I was trying not to, but that's just, that is impossible. It's crazy talk. I have to get dirty to do this. Okay. I'm going to just slam it down on different areas. Mm, now it's getting kind of ugly. That's okay. We'll see what we can do. I don't know how I feel about that. Let me do some arrows on it. Oh, I should remove that before it starts to dry onto my paper. Eh, that's a thought. <laughs> okay. So I think I want to throw in some more pink on that. And I really liked what the blue did with it last time before I did the second mask. So let's see if I can kind of get that purpley color. And just, there we go. Okay. That is kind of cool. You gotta admit, that's beautiful. Love it. Just doing that with that. And then let me go over this one more time. This stencil, I believe, is a dilution stencil. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I just, I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's kind of part of the process of this whole thing is you never really know how you feel about it. Okay, well this was just my junk paper and the junk paper is kind of cool. bit of night. Oh, this might be fun. Just. Oh, that's heavy. That's heavier than the others. How interesting. And then some pink down here too. Okay. So let's see what this does. I'm going to start right there and just pull it up. awful cheddary. That's pretty orange. That's pretty dark for my liking. Lemon. This may be bad guys. I may have just turned it brown. I don't know. Yeah, it's getting a little uglier, so we're going to stop. And I'm going to get a different piece of paper because I don't want to mess that one up. Mm, kind of ugly. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how bad it is. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that. Those dots are cool though, right? I'm just going to push this down on this. That's not so horrible. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, don't wanna mess that up. So let's see if I can clean it with this. All right. Sorry I'm not talkative tonight. I'm just thinking, you know? That's interesting. I have to work with that some more. I, I, don't, I don't think I'm done with it. On this and just pick up some of it. Pick up a little bit more. That side. Right there. Oh, 
Okay, that's not so horrible. That's actually kind of cool. I like it because it's and which is the Magneta. Magneta, I can't say it. I don't know. And then this color. Love how this looks together. And then I'm going to um, rayer it. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some lemon on top of it to brighten it up. And I go back and forth. Don't know if that's what you should do, but that's what I do. All right. I'm just going to take it and do that there. And then I want to stick this in here, like so. Do a little dot of lemon. Boop. And then just get that down there. And get that right there. Little another dot of lemon. Boop. Oopsie. It's okay. Then another dot of lemon right there. Okay. My garbage page is looking like garbage. <laughs> Which is kind of what we thought we would do, right? Okay, so I'll go ahead and lift this up. I'm actually gonna do it in sections. There's that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. I do like this better. Okay, so there's that. So I just smash it down, rub it around. That's fun. Look at that. It's kind of cool. Kind of digging on it. It's just what I'm going for on these ATCs is a little bit, too, that's too dark. We don't want to do that. Oh, I just blended that way too much. All right. So we'll do some turquoise, see what happens. I need to learn my color wheel. Every time I watch a, um, A YouTube video in which Dina is demonstrating she always talks about like the importance of the color wheel and I'm like oh yes I need to learn that because I don't know it so yeah there you go oh that's getting pretty okay that's cool that is cool I want to find where is it I want I like dots so just do dot boom 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 and this one and I'll put this one down again and then after this I'll clean it with my other thingy maybe call it good that's interesting. Whenever I say that's interesting, it's I don't know if it's good or bad. Oh shoot, I didn't remove that fast enough in the tour. Oh no, okay, so. This is my sheet that picks everything up. Okay, so let's see. Okay, this might just be a junk sheet. It might just be going in the garbage. 
that's pretty bad. Well, then we have the new blade. All right, so I'm just gonna put this down here and always sort flat and to keep these protective do my flunkies on it. Okay. This is the first one. One. Two. This one I'm definitely going to use. I love it for my project right now. Three. This one I love. Four. Five, six, and seven. So I have two ideas in mind. So I'm going to pick the ones that would best look with work with my ideas. And this doesn't necessarily mean they're my favorite. It just means that they'll work well with what I want to do. So I'm going to use these two because I think that they will be awesome. So I cleaned up my space a little bit and now I'm going to use my Calico Collage Pets Rock stamp set. I think this dude is just hilarious. And then the little you rock, I'm going to use two different inks on it to give it some more, even some more personality and variation as if this background really needs that, right? Then I'm going to use my punch and I'm going to use these digital downloads from Calico Collage. I'm going to punch and I'm just going to put them randomly all over the place. I actually think that I'm going to put the punches down first and then I'm going to stamp on top of that. So I need my sticker maker and I'm going to seal it all together with sparkly Mod Podge and that's going to be for this sheet. And I'll probably let it dry overnight so that um, it can set up real nice and I'll cut it into my ATCs tomorrow. So I'm just taking and just punching stars out of my digital download. And I did this digital download on the flimsy little copy paper too because the cardstock that I had was far too thick. So it's going to work nice because since it is thinner, it will be able to um, really be easier to stamp on than if it was a thicker paper. All right. And these are just leftovers from some other ATCs that I did. There's a total of six little digital downloads here and I'm not getting these stars perfect if you notice and that's totally okay because when I go to cut it um, I may have to cut into a star or whatever so the fun thing about this project is it's not gonna be perfect it's just a really funky type of uh, mixed media ATC so let me go ahead and run this through my sticker cutter my sticker cutter, my sticker maker. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to lay these in a random order all around this paper. I don't care that the edges are white because I'm just going to trim that off anyway. I don't even know how many ATCs I'm going to get out of this. Is there enough screw up on it? Okay, so I'm just going to kind of slam them down anywhere I see fit, all over the paper. I'm not even like paying that much attention. They're just being laid down. And not every ATC card may have a star. That's okay. 
once I get this done and it dries overnight and I put it and I back it with my ATC cards, I'm going to use cardstock, white cardstock probably. Um, I may add in some other elements once I get that all set up, but just for today, I'm just getting like the base of the paper done. And then I have something different in mind for the other one. And I think I'll put that one right there. Okay, so those are laid. Kind of cool, right? Now we're going to go ahead and add, I love the dog. I mean, the cat is freaking hilarious too. Just going to stamp him randomly. Add underneath my stamp. Again, I'm using Brutus Monroe Cornflower. I like this. Um, I just chased a rabbit. Let me finish the other comment and then I'll tell you why I like this. I use a foam pad underneath my um, clear mount stamps because it allows for a crisper image. So there won't be any holes or anything in it. Um, and I like the surface ink because it dries and I'll be able to use Mod Podge on it and it won't smudge everywhere, which is really nice. And I am just laying this out in a random order. He is so cute. Oh my gosh. And I really don't care that this gets stamped on. That's all I do on it. I'm not going to use it in a project or anything. And even if the stamped images aren't that crisp, that's cool. You know, that's okay. But they, so far they're doing great. <laughs> so I'm going to be done with that one for now. And now I want to go in and I want to add the little sentiment in the Jurassic Jurassic Green. And the sentiment on this is going to be, you are a rock star. I got the stars. I got the little dog. So that's what we're going to do now. So again, going in kind of random. Oh, that green is really juicy. I've never used it before. I like it. And I'm not, as you can tell, I'm not doing everything in the same direction either. I mean, what would the fun in that be? Right? I'm just trying to make sure I'm not stamping over any of the stamped images. I think that might be a little bit too much. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so I'm going to mod podge these two um, background sheets together. So I'm going to set this aside for now and I'm going to do the next sheet. And the next one is actually, I just, um, I just kind of, I'm in love with this. So I've used this one, so I'm going to not use that one. I want to use. So I'm just going to, I'm, I'm really going to take this crazy. This is just going to be some seriously crazy tape right now. Here we go. And I tape it just directly into my craft mat because it'll help hold it down. Like I said, oops, that was just going to be crazy. All right, so there's my lips. Good with that. And again, I don't know if all these cards are going to have the beautiful washi tape or not. Hmm. It's part of the fun of this. We just don't know. Do the eyes. I really like eyes. I've always been a huge fan of eyes. So... like 
so. in too many other spots so there's a very good chance that some of the cards might not have those big gorgeous eyes on them which is totally fine just really making some crazy randomness right now and I think that that's going to be it for this one so now we're going to do some sparkle Mod Podge on it all, which will be a very nice sealant. And then on both of these, um, and it will also out add some more durability to the project. So I'm just gonna tape these over because again, I'm gonna eventually cut these into two and a half by three and a half ATC size cards. ATC size is indeed two and a half by three and a half. Your, the intention is so that it will fit into a baseball sleeve. Um, however, depending on how you like your ATCs and how you like to collect and how you create, sometimes they can get big and bulky. I love those two. So I'm not always for the flat ATCs. I try to be considerate when I trade that some people may like to store them. And so I try to make them so that they do fit into the sleeve. Okay, so there's this base, and here is this base. And we're going to go ahead and just Mod Podge the whole thing together. It is the sparkle. It has a very, very strong odor. So if you are sensitive to this, you may need to open up a window, turn on a fan. Um, when you Mod Podge with this, you want to stir it. You do not want to shake it. And it's going to add just a beautiful layer of bling. And I always keep these little pieces because it seals in the product and it keeps it moist. So I am stirring this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and Mod Podge this out. And look how that surface ink isn't even moving. I say that and then that spot moved. But in the surface ink's defense, it was juicy. <laughs> I should have heat set it. But, and it is on acrylic paint, which means that it's basically plastic. So whenever you use a surface ink by Brutus Monroe on anything other than a porous surface, I believe that's what it's called, porous, like paper, you're going to want to go ahead and um, uh, heat set it because that will definitely ensure that it's dry if you're wanting to work as fast as I am over the project, if that makes any sense. So, okay, so this is nice and covered. And we're going to let that dry tonight. We'll come back tomorrow and finish it off. We just don't want to seal it, Mod Podge it to my craft mat. Okay, so. Trying to get all that off that brush. I have to tell you this glitter mod podge they sent me from the company and um yeah i totally am digging on it i love it a lot okay so there we go that's nice and glittered up it's gonna dry those spots that look white won't be all right so these are gonna set up on my craft mat to dry just in case 
for some reason they do get sticky and stick. I don't want them sticking to anything but the craft mat. And I will come back tomorrow and we will finish up these ATCs. Lucky for you. That's like in two seconds. If that, for me, I got to wait overnight. Bummer. Anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow. And then I'm going to do the opposite direction on this one. There we go. And I better get it right when I place it too. <laughs> kind of scary sometimes to do such a large placement with the adhesive onto the um the cardstock because there's a chance it'll get crooked or I won't get it all lined up right but that's okay because I have to trim some of this down anyway so it's not like the end of the world okay so there's this and what's cool about it he's um, um, rubber cement is to remove first of all between uses, if you're going to be using it shortly, which I will be, make sure you just put the lid on like this. You don't have to seal it, um, but it does need to cover all the opening or else you will get your rubber cement completely dried out. But in order to remove the residue, and I call them rubber cement boogers, you just take and wipe your hand over it and it brings it right up. So I'm going to go ahead and get the next sheet ready as well. Well, that one dries. It does have an odor. I kind of like it. Oh, I'm weird like that. My dad um, actually he used to, he started working on cars in his dad's shop. And so um, I've always had a, a thing for gasoline. Later, he went on to work at the Naval Shipyard on submarines. And then after that, he went on to work for a company called Lockheed, which works in conjunction, I believe, with NASA on rockets. So I've always, and I would go to my grandpa's shop and my dad would always smell like gasoline and I don't know. I like the smell of gas, so therefore I like the smell of weird things. Then this one in the opposite direction. And I'm just trying to go off the page a bit with it too. So now we're going to go ahead and adhere that first page on over. I like to, I got to admit, I do enjoy removing the rubber cement boogers. I don't know why I really care. I mean, it's my craft mat, right? But whatever. Okay. So I'll take this and it is dry. And I'm going to take this. I'm just going to adhere it. Just like that. And there's a little bit of overage, but I'm going to trim it all down to make the bases. But now that's nice and sturdy. Another thing I like about rubber cement is, you know, I am going to cut this. So if for some reason, if I cut it in a place in which I use a different type of adhesive, it could come apart. This won't come apart. This will stay together. And there is absolutely no wrinkles. So that's why I'm a fan. I learned about rubber cement in college when I was pursuing my my bachelor's in education, my undergraduate, um, and I took a class and uh, we we used a lot of rubber cement and I loved it. I just, I ever since it's just really stuck. So 
And then here's this one. All right, so let's go ahead and make some ATC bases. Well, before I do that, I actually was going to kind of thought it would be cool to outline these stars with this Dina Wakely Media Scribble Sticks. I still think that's a fun idea. Let's see here. Just kind of want to go over and outline them. Now the cool thing with this technique that we're going to do is since it is a mixed medium base, you can just go right ahead and um, cut them down and then put your information on the back and trade them. Or you can even take it further and put like a stamp on it and, you know, uh, or an image, another image on it or a piece of um, a die cut of some sort pop just to give it even more personality. So there's lots of options with this. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to get my two and a half strips done. And I'm going to kind of trim this down just to get the edges nice and even. I'm not measuring at this point. I could be mathematical and figure exactly how many cards I can get out of this, but... I'm not doing that. And it's cutting so nice. Alright, so we need two and a half. Buy another two and a half. short it does but that's okay I'm gonna set this aside and I can still use it on a card in fact what I think I'm gonna do is I'll cut this sheet down to two by threes and then I can back it on a black piece of cardstock to make it really pop so this one is gonna be two by threes for that purpose So cool. And then, and then after I get these done with the two by threes, that's my son. After I get these done two by threes, I'm gonna do the regular ones. So I got three cute, oops, that one's not quite right. I think I'm gonna take it off the top right here. Okay, so now I have some cute little two by three cards. It was fun. So much fun. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and do these at three and a half. And this one looks like it's going to be a little bit shy of three and a half. So again, I'll cut it down two, two by three. Actually, we'll do this one by two and two fifths by three. I totally cut that wrong. Oh well, lesson learned. That's okay, I will find a use for that. So here's these two. Can you hear my son singing in the background? We're in full-fledged summer break right here. <laughs> I'll cut this down to three, because we know it won't be three and a half. Should I do it by three and a quarter? 
by two and a quarter. There we go. Okay. The sheet's done. And I have some really, really fun ATC bases to work with. So awesome. And then let's go ahead and do these beautiful eyes. Again, I'm just going to trim the edges off. That Mod Podge really helped seal in that washi tape too, which is really nice. And do our two and a half. Two and a half. And then this one we're going to cut down to, to two and two fourths. Okay. And I'm going to make this and we'll put it on a different base. So this is going to be two and two fourths by three and two fourths. And that one is a little bit shy, but that's okay. It's gonna be three and a half. Three and a half. That one's a little shy, so that's okay. So three and a half. This one by three and a half. All right, so. Oh, I think I might have cut that too short. I did. I cut it to three. Uh, okay. It's all right. I will just take this down to two we'll just do a base on that two by three. okay so now you have some beautiful bases to work on for your ATC so I'm going to separate out all the ones that are indeed two and a half by three and a half and then the ones that are different sizes because I know that these are truly 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 the base so those are going to be fun that we'll put over here and then here's this one This one is a little small, this one's small. So we're gonna use those. We're gonna back them on something. So I got eight ATCs on two sheets of paper that are ready to go. I don't really have to do much else to these and they're good. And then I'm going to play with these and have some fun. So I hope that you will pull out your jelly press and this gives you a new way to use up your leftover calico collage digital sheets and all that washi tape that's gorgeous that's just sitting in your stash. and a fun new way to do a stamping technique and um i would love to see what you create so please tag me on instagram at betsy dot uh, excuse me betsy dot at bets golden and so tag me on instagram at bets golden i'd love to see what you've made and make sure you subscribe to my channel talk to you guys later bye